Hello. Today it's a very exciting day because I'm going to show you what I can do with some of those units we've been making with some of those leftovers. Now you'll notice that my pantry can rearrange itself. I do love rearranging pantries. And so I've got, I can, because I've got some units that are the same, I can actually put different drawers in, the ones that I'm working with at the time. So today I'm going to be working with some six and a half inch um, pieces and I actually want some squares. So I have, I have got some six and a half inch strips that are there that were some larger leftovers that I had that I cut into those, but I'm, I have already cut some squares. So I'm just going to work with those today. And then in my drawer that I keep my finished blocks and units in, I'm going to grab those out and show you just one of the possibilities of what of something you might be able to do with them. Um, so it's it's quite an exciting thought. I've got all these things ready. I want to make a quilt. What can I make? Oh, I know. I can do something with my leftovers. So what I'm going to do is use up, because we had four patches, we've got nine patches, we've got some uh, Roman stripe blocks, and we've got some pinwheels and hourglass type blocks, just a little variety there of those sorts of blocks and some just six and a half inch squares. So our blocks are measuring six and a half inch and our squares that we're going to alternate are six and a half inch. So I would just alternate. This obviously is a very bright quilt, but again, this does work in completely different colors, in more muted tones, in different types of fabrics. So you don't have to feel that you have to um, have exactly the same sort of range of fabrics. So we can pop our stripes upwards, sideways, whatever you like ways, and some, maybe we'll pop a pinwheel in here. Um, and really, so I'm just alternating all these different blocks just to give us a bit of a, a different look about things. Um, the colours, because I've chosen a whole range of brights, kind of all work together. It's pretty random. I'm happy with random. I really like random. Um, so you can just kind of go on and on adding in more and more blocks as you go. So we've just about exhausted the table space. But that was just to really give you a bit of an idea of some of the fun you can have just with some leftovers. They don't all have to be exactly the same fabrics. They can be a whole variety of, of different fabrics. Um, and I would do something like that. And the other thing I might do is on some of these planar blocks, um, I might do a little bit of applique. So I'm going to show you a couple of quilts that I've made along this same concept, both of which do have some applique in them. But you wouldn't have to applique, you could just use something like that or you could also use a constant fabric for your alternate ones you wouldn't have to have them all different but because I'm using my leftovers they're going to be all different so I'll just show you a quilt here that I've made um, my pantry is not going to be in the way I might just move it down and this is one that I've made in some fairly traditional Christmas fabrics this was my country Christmas and I haven't used all the varieties of blocks that I've uh, got on the table but I have certainly used some of it. So I've got some four patches here, I've got um, nine patches, and then I've got the alternating um, squares, and I've also thrown in some applique of some country Christmas things that I've done. So that was just a fun quilt using all sorts of bits and pieces, um, a little bit coordinated in its colours, not so bright as the one on the table, but using that same concept of a variety of fabrics and blocks. So that was just a little idea for that, but I've got one more quilt I can show you that's a bit brighter. And that's one here. This is a pattern that I uh, developed. This was a course for children to learn to sew on. So I wanted something nice and bright and cheerful, and I'll, I might have to show it to you in two stages. So the lower half, of, I, I get the children to applique their name on, and some other applique, and then i just drop it down so you can see the top half now. Obviously we've got some bigger applique going on in there, but we've got the stripes block, we've got the four patch, we've got the pinwheel, we've got the nine patch, we've got somewhere there's one of the hourglass blocks, and then again these alternate squares. And then when I've done the applique blocks, they're just made up out of sizes that will work with the six inch, so they're multiples of. So this is an 18 inch block because it straddles three of my six inch squares and this funny bird looking thing 
he's 12 inches across by 18 inches down. So it was just kind of that mix and match concept of working with a six inch unit, but you can then throw in other things as long as all the measurements work together. So that was really just an idea of uh, how you might use up some, uh, some of your leftovers um, into organized chaos, basically. Um, so thank you.